Hello viewers, welcome to my channel at Easy Surveys where I make survey practices easier and educative. In this video, I will show you on how to download rainfall data for your hydrological analysis freely. So you come to your Chrome, you search for CHRS data portal. So you make sure your system is connected to an active internet. When you search for this, you are going to see these options popping up. Then you click on the CHRS data portal. Then it is going to lead you to the site. So this is a site where you can download rainfall data that is the precipitation data of any region of the world freely. All right. So you come to the PD I are now you click on that so therefore you can quickly read a preview of what this website is all about so it's a precipitation estimation from remotely sensed information using artificial neural network so it is giving uh, the rainfall data the precipitation data in real time all right from satellite precipitation monitoring system so you can see it there all right so let's get started how to download the rainfall data of any study area of interest. So I will just swipe to uh, Africa. So here it is. Make sure your system is connected to an active internet. Then, then I will navigate to somewhere in Nigeria, in Lagos. So I want to download a the rainfall data for a local government in Lagos, which is Ikeja in this case. All right. So here it's Ikeja. All right. So when you navigate to your study area of interest, you come to data sets here. You click on this then you check pdir now that is you want your data to be in real time all right then you can come here to time step to choose the particular uh data range so if you want to download for the hourly data then you check hourly however i want to download for the uh, annual data of this region for a perfect analysis in actual so i will check on yearly so so you can come to domain here and click on the drop down arrow then you can choose this uh region the study area based on these options all right if you want to choose by country you click by country all right then you can go ahead and select the country of interest if you want to choose by uh political division all right if you click on that you are going to see it is going to subdivide the whole of the work environment by political divisions all right but i'm not interested in that okay so what i'm interested in is you can actually use your shapefile as well to choose a shapefile of interest but i will just quickly go with the fastest method to use a rectangle region all right so i'm just going to define my region of interest by a rectangle so just make sure you highlight all of it so that you can cover your study area perfectly okay so when you highlight and choose your study area you will come down to data time then you click on the drop down arrow so these are for different years so you can scroll down we have from 2001 to 2024 okay just because i have chosen yearly so if you choose monthly you are going to see the information on this data time okay to give you an option to choose the month range all right but i will just quickly go with yearly then i'll go with 2024 okay you can have a visualization of it if you want to by clicking on visualize so it is going to load it for you so that is just the region and that is how it's going to bring out the range for uh raster data for you so let me just uh clear image then you come to download all right so you can choose from start time okay to stop time however i want it to be from 2023 to 2024 all right then the format now you click on this drop down arrow here then you choose tif that is a tif file all right then after that you can now come and click on this drop down arrow here so you can either go with zip or tar however the best format is zip all right so when you are done with all this you can now click on download so therefore here you will be asked to input your email so just input an active email of yours so i'm just going to use this email here 
for me to be eligible to download my data. So when you input your email, you click on download. So you are going to see it that the download link has been generated. Then you click on the download link. So you cannot check the progress of the download under your browser. So here it is PDIR 2025-0404. Then you can click on show in folder. So here it is. So I just want to copy and I'll put it under my plans. Paste it there. Okay. Therefore now I have pasted it under my plans. So you can click on it and right click. Then you extract to the particular folder. So here is the folder and you are going to see it the information here so let's quickly import in ArcMap ArcGIS so this is the shapefile of my study area that I downloaded the rainfall data for alright so you can just have your shapefile as well then you click on add data icon then you navigate to where the uh, folder where you saved the TIF rainfall data inside of it so it's under my plans then I'll click on open then here it is the folder here so here i have from 2023 to 2024 so okay and i'm going to load that of 2024 let me import that uh, so you can see on non special reference there's no cost for alarm then you click on ok so i'm just going to zoom to layer and here it is so i can change the color ramp to be something much more beautiful if i wish to all right so and that's just it so you can choose to clip out the uh data of interest so that's just how to download rainfall data from the chrs data portal freely if you find this video informative please do well to hit on the subscribe icon as well as turn on the notification bell on this channel to keep getting valuable informative video freely thank you see you in the next video